What's up, guys? You got me. Okay, guys, today I have two of my favorite fishing rods, right? These are my favorite fishing rods, just so you can see. This one right here is an offshore uh, angler. This is the Power Plus. This is the Trophy Combo. I got this from Bash Pro Shop. This is a very nice fishing rod, as you can see. But this video is not just for fishing because I also have one of my son's fishing rods right here. And he has, uh, what is this fishing rod called? Um, it's just a regular, uh, I believe it's a regular Bass Pro Shop fishing rod. I think it's the, Stan oh yeah, the Stampede. I just didn't want to say the wrong name. So this is the Stampede regular um, Bass Pro Shop fishing rod from my son. We have regular uh, lead ball weights on here. Uh, on both of the rods. The worms are the, uh, I wanna call these the watermelon. Matter of fact, I got the bag right here. Let's check. Uh, let's check to see what these are. I thought they were, this is what the, the bag looks like. These actually work pretty good. Um, these are the Mag Shaky Head June Bug. The watermelon are, um, they're blue, they're green, green with red specks. These are the jig heads. Okay. I also found that uh, while fishing, um, these are very good to fish with. These are very good to fish with. Um, these are baby shad. I got these from Walmart. You can get these from Walmart for five dollars. Um, something else that's good to fish for bass, trout, um, these guys. This is trout bait, and um, they come like this. I believe these are salmon eggs. Now, you can get shrimp eggs also, but these are salmon. It says it right here salmon eggs. Uh, my neighbors are having the time of their life right now. We just, uh, actually, we all came back from Lake Lanier. Oh, so what I will be doing today, something very simple. Um, and actually, while I'm doing this, I'm going to show you what got stuck. Oh man, look, one of my favorite, favorite lures, it's actually down here and stuck, man, see it, it's stuck, I'll get that out later, but for now, what I'll be doing is I'm going to show you how to put on either the long bob weight, oh excuse me, not weight, uh, I'll show you how to put on the long fishing lure or I'll show you how to put on the regular fishing lure. I'm going to give my son the regular fishing lure and for mine I'll put on the longer one. So this is really simple okay. I um, usually want to put about I say 12 feet to 12 feet to 20 excuse me <laughs> I was watching them play volleyball over here okay but not 12 feet uh, you usually want to do 12 inches to 24 inches from your weight, right? So what I'm going to do to give myself some more space is I'm going to push my son's weight and I'm going to push the fishing pole. It will automatically drop and I'm just going to bring it back up to the size I feel it needs to be. Right. Okay. Now remember, when this weight goes in, when, and when the bob goes in, you're going to want to have the bottom part down, this is the top. You want the top to be facing up. Okay, so what I usually do is I'll go around three times. Okay, you see, once you press this button right here, look what pops up. You see that hook? That hook pops up because it's actually trying to grab the line. Okay? 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the line down like this. And we're gonna press the circle down. We're gonna get, now from, my son did this himself and I, I tend not to mess anything up if it's very good and if someone likes it. So um, I let him keep it the way it is. So this is about, I would say eight inches from the weight to the bait. The lead weight to the bait is about eight inches. I would give it even 10. He says it was 12. I'm not gonna argue with him. So this is 12, it's 12 inches. So you would take your imaginary hand eye coordination with a ruler and you would just go about 12 inches. So I'm gonna hook this around three times, okay? One, that's two, and that's three. Close it, it's perfect. It can't go nowhere, see? But also, you have to get the top. So with the top, um, some people usually like to go lower if they're in um, fresh water or salt water, depending on how deep you are in the um, water. Um, you can go lower than this, you can go higher than this, but I would recommend you at least do, at least do around 24 inches. Because if you think about it, you don't want your bait to be, you don't want your bait to be, let's, let me step back a little bit. You don't want your bait to be, imagine this being the water, right? My hand is the water. You don't want your bait to be just dangling right over a fish's head when it can be lower and it can dangle lower so more fish can connect to it. Okay, after you finish this, you're going to just reel in your rod. Once you reel your rod in, it'll stop and be careful that it doesn't connect and hit you in the face anywhere close like that okay so this will be the first one this is the first one that we finished and then like so now let's get to the next one you shake it nothing happens okay this is good this one's good my son's is good now my second one okay nothing's different nothing's changed this doesn't this is just uh, this is my offshore angler it no, it just has a hook nothing's changed i'm going to be doing the same routine but i'm going to walk you through it step by step so you'll see what's done now um the reason why i am putting on these bobbers is because um at the last minute we caught a fish and it actually broke my line Luckily, I still got to keep the lure. I'm, I'm thinking that it was a largemouth bass. We were fishing at Lake Lanier, so with some lakes you might get better a better turnout than others. In the state of Georgia, I know there's a couple of lakes that you can fish at that people say you have great turnouts. I'm going to um, a lake tomorrow to see what type of turnout I can get also. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I wanna fish mid water. So I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. Now this is different from my other rides that I have because with this one, there's no button to press. but you hold your finger right here and you, you want everything, huh? Do I think I want, do you want to do what? Should I mix the noodles into the sauce? Yeah, you might as well go ahead and do it. Guess so you won't have to do anything later. So for instance, with this one, if I was fishing, let's say I was fishing. see if my rod still works <laughs> I'm in my backyard so I'm just checking on a few things you close your lure you always have to close 
everything to make sure it's right. Okay? So it cast perfectly, kind of far. Now my son also did this one too while I was grilling earlier today. And this one to me doesn't look like it's, if you can see, it might be 12 inches, it might. But if I had a ruler, I would say this is around 10 too. Now there's nothing wrong with putting it over a, or under a certain amount. There's nothing wrong with people putting it over or under a certain amount. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to cut this excess, this excess line that my son finished just to make sure okay so that's what we're cutting off okay but also what we're going to do now is I'm going to oh guys sorry about that that was my fiance we're actually making spaghetti tonight so Now remember, this time when you reel it up, don't reel it up all the way. At least leave 12. For me, I think I want a little more going. So I'm going to Uh oh, it looks like it got stuck on some. Okay, now this looks perfect to me. If the bobber is out, I believe that's perfect. That's my daughter, Phoenix, guys. Come say hey, Fee. She wants to know if I have another fishing rod. But I already did that one, baby girl. Okay, guys. Now with this bobber, there's a spring right here, right? And all we're going to do is put the spring down. You're going to put this around here about three times also you know third time's a charm for me i feel like lucky number three will all always help me so i've done it three times now what i'll do is i'm going to Drop my line a little bit. I can do it. I'll show you, baby girl. Okay, now that I've dropped my line, I want to go right here in the hook. I guess we're gonna tighten that line up just like that. All right, guys. So the line is tight. I've hooked my hook right here. I can do it. My weight is right here. But also, you can always fish open here. these weights. Come get your fish in here. Okay. I think I'm almost there. And the way you open these weights, guys, is um, if you've squeezed it, most of the time, you can open them with your fingernail. And once you open them, see, I open it, now look. I can slide my weight up. All right, guys, so that's it. I've got two rods right here. I've got two weights. I've got two new hooks. All right, guys, peace. Thanks for everything. Fee, say see you later. Say see ya.